Mastering the Art of Proofreading Common Errors and Fixes Hello, dear learners. Today, we're diving deep into the world of proofreading. Our focus? Identifying common grammar, punctuation, and spelling errors. By the end of this video, you'll be armed with knowledge and a checklist to help spot and correct these mistakes. Let's get started. Grammar is the backbone of any language. Here are some frequently made grammar errors. 1. Subject-Verb Agreement Ensure that the subject and verb in a sentence agree in number. Example, she write every day. Should be, she writes every day. 2. Misplaced modifiers. Modifiers should be placed next to the word they're modifying. Example, he almost drove his kids to school every day. Should be, he drove his kids to school almost every day. 3. Incorrect tense. Ensure you're using the right tense. Example, yesterday, he is at the park. Should be, yesterday, he was at the park. Punctuation marks are like traffic signals for readers. Here are some areas where people often slip up. 1. Apostrophes, used for possession and contractions. Remember, it's, without an apostrophe, shows possession, while, it's, means, it is, or, it has. 2. Comma splices. Avoid using commas to join two independent clauses without a conjunction. Example, I like tea, he likes coffee. Should be, I like tea, and he likes coffee. 3. Misplaced or missing quotation marks. Always ensure that the punctuation marks are correctly placed inside or outside the quotation marks, based on style guides. Even the best of us make spelling mistakes. Here are some tips. 1. Homophones. Words that sound the same but have different meanings. Examples include there, 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 and your, your. 2. Commonly misspelled words. Words like definitely, separate, and accommodate often trip people up. Double check them. 3. Use spell check, but don't rely solely on it. Sometimes, the tool may overlook errors, especially with homophones. Proofreading is an essential skill, and with the knowledge of these common errors, you're well on your way to mastering it. We hope this video serves as a valuable tool in your English language journey. Remember, practice makes perfect. Until next time, happy learning and happy proofreading.